Good morning, lovely people on the YouTube budget guitarist here. Um, I'm going to open this one with a question. The question is, how much money do you need to spend on a vintage guitar? In this, uh, on this occasion, it's a Les Paul model um, to get that vintage um, creaminess, that vintage sound of a of a uh, Les Paul. Now, I purchased this off uh, a guy off the uh, marketplace. Uh, it came with a lot of research that he, he'd done already, and it checked out that it was a fresher. Now, fresher was a guitar company. I believe they were they were making guitars in the 70s and 80s in Japan at quite a um, at quite a an infamous quite a famous uh, uh, guitar plant but um, I did me own little bit of research now when these came out at factory the serial number was just stuck on here it was just a sticker clearly that's come off um, it has however got the made in Japan on the on the neck so it's not a uh, it's not a set neck it's a but it's a bolt on I guess to truly find out get a rough idea of its age I'm gonna have to see if I can lift any cords off the back of the pots uh, maybe the switch um, the guy I bought it off he's told me he's already had the neck off and he's checked the usual places in the neck um, for any telltale signs to just confirm it but yeah I'm gonna do I'll be back shortly when I do some research of me own now I couldn't find anything on the potentiometers they just stamp with the potentiometer values but to me they do look like 70s, 80s um, uh, potentiometers. Uh, however, I did find some stuff on the three-way switch. This, uh, I'm not quite sure what, looks like a, looks like a bird or something. I need to take a closer look at this bit. But on the other side, some sort of code, it might be a date code. Um, it's a 72 uh, minus 1. So I need to give that a, a bit of a Google. Um, all these bits look original to the guitar. These don't look like they've been... All the soldering looks still original. Um, there's nothing to be messed with. And also the switch. So if that 72 dash minus 1 means something like it was made in 1972, then that's... Uh, that's pretty cool. That's almost confirming the, you know, the age of the guitar. But anyway, I'm going to do some Googling and find out. As sad as it is, a little bit more about three-way switch. I'm back in a bit. Oh, there's not a lot of information out there on the old Google as to um, codes on three-way toggle switches. So all I've got from now so far is a 72 minus 1. Nothing on the pots. Uh, I guess now pickups there might be something on the pickups to try read and give a google just try to find out you know nail it down how old this thing is let's have a look um strings are off um i did find this bit so on the underneath of the saddles it's stamped japan which is pretty cool to be honest because um Especially when it comes, well, to be fair, lots of things that are built in Japan are very, very good quality. Um, but guitars was another thing. Um, yeah, guitars, you know, made, made in made in Japan are, you know, tend to be really, really nicely finished, really good quality hardware, all the rest of it. Well, I'm going to keep, keep digging. I'm going to take a look under these to see if there's any sort of number, date, or anything on these uh, humbuckers. Um, nothing on the bottom of the uh, humbuckers. The last thing I can think of trying is underneath this. So this, this shiny bit here, that's just a cover. So if you remove that screw, that screw, then the cover will come off. It's the only thing I can think to check, so yeah i'm gonna check that well i guess i won't be removing that shiny cover because it's it's sort of like tacked in looks like it's been soldered or welded in 
into position. I don't want to start pulling that off, so can't get them off, unfortunately. Um, can't find nothing. Um, so it's surprising. So the only thing I know, it's made in Japan, but I'm talking about Japanese build quality. Now, this is not a solid body guitar. This top bit is a veneer. You can, you can hear how the cavity is hollow. I noticed it when I had the pickups off. Um, it looks like the main body is two pieces of wood, but not joined very, you know, very good. Um, yeah, mm, it's a bit of an anomaly. I mean, I can tell it's old. It probably is from the 70s. Um, oh, it's gutted as well. I broke the bloody, uh, broke the scratch plate taking it off because I was kind of hoping they do that thing where Gibson do where they actually put the year on the back of the pit guard but ended up breaking it there's the other bit there so annoying um, but I might be able to glue that to be honest well either way I know it's going to look like a nice guitar chances are it's going to sound um, okay if these are you know 70s pickups 70s pots we should we should in theory get that classic warm 70s sound from this Japanese made Les Paul uh, but I think before I do that because I've took it apart I might as well just give it a good uh, just give it a good polish make it look nice again yeah get some tea cut on it see, see if that you know buffs it up well go for a little bit of uh, Zach Wilde inspiration putting my tea cut on right getting it all back together give it a good bloody polish it's looking it's looking nice but i'll tell you what it's not half bad it's got scratches and dings obviously that's from i oh know this sorry this hole it's from the scratch plate that i accidentally snapped um it's got chunks missing out of it all over the place uh, the bit down here up neck back's not looking oh yeah it's just covered in uh, battle scars but uh no nah, not bothered um, I think rest at hard work, give it a bit of a polish, new strings, let's try uh, set it up, see what it sounds like. Right, this is what it um, sounds like, it's all back together, um, I, I like it, um, yeah, now that it's all shiny and stuff and I, and I think I found out as, about as much as I can about it. Um, I do really like it. It is very well put together, to be honest. The fret ends are well, what you'd expect on a, on a on a bound West Paul neck. You can't feel them. Frets very comfortable. Anyway, enough waffle. I'll try to do it some justice. Let you hear what it sounds like. So, using the Marshall valve state, uh, clean channel, just a little bit of reverb. No, no effects going on other than the uh, spring reverb. And I believe at the moment. Yeah, I'm on the neck pickup. sounds completely di different it sounds warmer richer more don't know just not necessarily better just very different very pleasing to uh, hear uh, middle positions these two pickups together
know the bridge pickup on its own. <laughs> sounds a little bit too much for I guess. Roll a bit of tone off it. drive now so let's see if we can get that classic uh, sort of that magic thing that uh, Les Paul does with a a Marshall amp um, I'm going straight to overdrive channel 2 so it's got quite a bit on uh, let's have a see clearly not got Les Paul money, Gibson Les Paul money, um, not a lot of people have. Um, so I was happy to settle for an Epiphone, but even the Epiphones, you know, they're coming in quite expensive. And this was, I guess this was just a lucky find on the marketplace. Um, coming in at under 80 quid, believe it or not. It was made in 1972. It was definitely made in Japan. And for everything that the guy told me, explained to me, it is a fresher uh, Les Paul standard made in um, Japan. Now this, I know I say this all the time, um, yeah this is a keeper, I'm, I'm, I'm keeping this. This is, yeah, it's doing, it's making that noise I want it to make, so it's staying up on the wall. I hope you enjoyed that video and uh, if I get anything else cool, I guess uh, you guys will be first to know about it. Thanks for watching.